I shall go over Off here. Go. On to something completely different, known as the red planet, Mars. It's dominating our skies at the moment. So our star reporter, Michael Gannon, went out a few weeks ago. You went out Indeed. stargazing and planet gazing. Yeah. Oh, I'm so jealous. I would love to do it. You had a ball? I did. I had a great time. Oh. Yes. And did you, this is something, or is this something you were into beforehand, or is this? It's something uh, different for me because I never got interested in doing astronomy Ireland before. So it was, it was new to you too? Yeah, it was new to me. Love it. Do you like our backdrop? Do you see all the stars we have here? It's beautiful. This is, this is all set up for you. Thank and you. Your stargazing. Okay, we're going to look at your report now in a second because not since August 2003, which I didn't know this, uh, has Mars been this close to the Earth. So let's take a look at Michael's report. Hi, Michael. How Good are to you? see you. What does astronomy on and do? Well, we're the National Astronomy Society for the entire country, one of the biggest in the world. So we run lots of events like this, setting up telescopes for the general public to come along and look at the wonders of the universe. Tonight, it's Mars. How successful are the three National Telescope Workers? I think they're the backbone of Astronomy Ireland. It's what has made us famous setting up these telescopes. Sometimes thousands of people can come along to the individual events, especially when there's a nice clear sky and it gets lots of notice and everyone come out to see the moon, Mars, Saturn, the odd comet has come along, shooting star showers. It still brings a big smile to my face when, I, when you see a, a new person discovering the universe for themselves. How can we see Mars, can you tell me? Well, Mars is, is very easy to see for the next few months. It's the bright orange star in the evening sky. On March 25th, when we're running our next event, it'll actually be very close to the moon. That's why we're doing it that night, so everyone can find Mars easily. You'll see the moon, and just above it is this bright orange star. It's not really a star, it's the planet Mars, which just happens to be this close to us, and it won't be clo this close to us again for another four years. Hi, Eamon. Oh, hello, Michael. How are you? Good, how are you? It's cold tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. cold. Right? Yeah. Is this a um, standard um, telescope? Well, no, it's a telescope that's equipped with a computer, and it's called a smith Cassegrain telescope. OK. Normally, you have refractors, which are just lenses, and reflectors, which are uh, mirrors, you know? But right. this is a combination of the two of them. This is a, a, a computer equipped with, a, with a, a projector and a screen up here. Okay. And I put on a little presentation about the planet Mars itself, so that when they come again and look in here, they know what to look for. So, Michael, you've seen through the telescope so far tonight. Yes. But I want you to show you something else. Okay. You don't have to have a telescope to enjoy the night sky. I've got a little gadget here that we'd actually point out the stars okay. and See? teach you a way around the constellations. Of course, unfortunately, a few clouds have rolled in now and it's gone a bit cloudy. Mm. But if you look uh, down the break in the clouds, you can actually see that we have the brightest star in the sky, oh, right. Sirius. Even if you haven't got a telescope, you can learn the star patterns as well. Or you can get one of these gadgets and someone who knows the stars can right. point it out to you. How long have you been interested in astronomy? Well, first of all, I was interested in science, just in general. And then in national school, we did a little bit on the planets, and I got really into it then. Well, I heard that you won the Young Astronomer of the Year award. Yeah, it was a photography competition, and it was organised by the Royal Observatory, Greenwich in London. I took a picture of uh, Venus being occulted by the moon, and I took just as Venus was reappearing out from behind the moon. And how did you take the photo? Well, I took the photo. This part of the year comes off and this part connects onto the telescope and the telescope is basically the lens and it magnifies the view for the camera to take the picture. I have one more question for you. Uh, do you believe the, uh, there are aliens? I think most scientists would think there, there certainly could be life elsewhere in the universe. Because when you think about how we got here, we evolved from lesser animals, they came from plants and then from very simple organisms, which ultimately came from simple chemistry billions of years ago. Well. We don't see why that couldn't happen elsewhere. So I do think there is life out there. I can't prove it, but I don't think it's buzzing us and causing all these UFO stories we hear about. But there you have it. I had a great time here tonight, but I couldn't see any aliens. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? And 
look, he reappeared here. Look at that magic, as if by magic. So how was it on Mars? I, I'm. I'd say so many people would love to go out and do that. It just must be such a great night out. Well, it was. It was an, an honour for me to go over yeah. to Phoenix Park with my blow on. And he came with me anyway, and so I said hello to Owen. And um, it's very interesting. I, 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 I loved it all, really. And it was so unfortunate that it was cloudy. So you didn't, I mean, how many of these telescopes were out there? We've one there of them there. Yeah, there were um, quite a few. Over 10 or 20 of them were there. Seriously? Yeah. And, but, but it was cloudy, so you didn't get to actually see anything through no, them? No, I couldn't. Because that's just, tip, you know, that's just Irish weather. Yeah. There's nothing you can yeah, do. Yeah, I know, yeah, it. that's true. Um, but they sh he showed you the... Who was that, Eamon, that showed That's you the presentation? Eamon, yes, he did. So that was sort of plan B, we'll show you the presentation. Yes, he did, indeed, yeah. That's great. What time of night was it about? It was around half nine. And how long do you stay out for? Until 11. Until 11, so they usually do an hour and a half. Yeah, they do, yeah. That's great. And what did... Um, what was that that David was showing you? The green laser thing? That's uh, the, the green glare. And what does that do? Uh, that means that you have to point up to the sky, up to the stars... So I got it myself in my hand, and then I was putting up to the mass cool. itself, as well. And what does it do? It, you, it just sort of points to show yeah, you? Just, yeah, just a point, yeah. It's rather than pointing, there's those stars. It sort of allows yeah. you to point directly. Yeah. There's Mars there. It's the red planet because it's that, as, as David was saying, it's yes. that red light, or it's that red that we're going to see. Yeah. I, just, I actually wrote down what he said. The 25th, just in case anybody didn't get it, the 25th of March, it's going to look orange and it's going to be close to the moon. Yes. Up and there. What was, your, what was the best part of it for you? The best part for me was the ending part, I right. thought. Oh, doing... About just the ending and the feet he did. Just, just doing the little uh, jokey bit? Yeah. Do you think you'll go back again? Maybe one day, yes. Maybe I would take it out as a hobby. Would you? I would, yeah, I would. Because you never, you never did this before. No, I never, no, no, no. I have a book here as well, um, on a story of my island as well. Well, so this is their magazine, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So this comes out, I think, monthly, is it? Or yes. Something like that. It does. So they gave you that? They gave me that, yes. So you're suddenly a fan now? I am now, yeah. You're a big fan. Are you I going am. to get yourself a telescope or are you going to go out again? Uh, probably, go out again. probably go out again. You will, you? Yeah, I will, yeah. Watching Mars movies. I have to ask you, did because I know you're a mad rugby fan. Did you watch the game? On I did, yes. I, um, I had a wedding on. It was my cousin who got married in, oh, right. in Kilkenny. And um, him, uh, Billy and Lauren got married. Yeah. Uh, we, we had a, a great time. And um, but unfortunately, uh, uh, it was Ireland did had a good break back at, yeah. the, at the game. They were level all the time, throughout oh, yeah. the whole game, except when the referee blew it up. Oh, it was dreadful. Yeah. I'd, my, my friend's kid cried for 15 minutes. I couldn't believe it myself. Like. Oh, it was devastating. I mean, it's cracking the way. I know, I know, I know. We could talk about it for ages, we won't. We'll go back to astronomy. Okay. We'll stick with that. That's nice That's and fine. happy clappy. We'll enjoy that. Okay, astronomy, Arnold, what we have to say is it was free, what you did when yes, you went out. Yes, you were free. And they, they, have, um, they have watches all around the country. That one was in Phoenix Park in Dublin, but they are in Cavan, in Carlow, in Donegal, yeah. in Sligo and all of that. And the next one is Thursday the 25th, and that's where you'll be able to see uh, Mars again. More information on our website, also on Airtel page 340, and we'll give you all the links links and everything that you need. Thanks for that, Mark. You're welcome. I'm so glad you're back here on planet Earth. Thank it's you It's good very to much. have you here. Thank you. Maura.